This is an Odner's arithmometer. It was made in the early 20th century, this one in probably around 1906 or 7, and it was made in St. Petersburg. This machine was made for the Western market because all the lettering is in uh, the Latin alphabet rather than Cyrillic. The serial number, 10,500, indicates it was made in around 1906. I have found newspaper adverts from this office supply company for exactly this machine. Let's do a multiplication of 256 times 256. The unit digit needs to be 6, so I'll turn the crank 6 times. That has added this number to the register six times, multiplying it by six. I can now shift the register one stop to the right, to the tens digit, which I'll make five by turning the crank five times. And then once more to the hundreds digit, which needs to be two. The result is 65,536. To clear the register you turn this wing nut. And to clear the counter you turn the other wing nut. When the carriage is shifted to the right it's a bit uh, awkward because there's this uh, protective uh, cover on the back. So it's easiest to just shift the carriage to the left again before clearing. There is no mechanism for clearing the input, so you just have to do that yourself. Let's now try a division. I'll shift the carriage all the way to the right, then enter on the leftmost uh, digits here 355. And I'll divide that by 113 to give the usual approximation to pi. But first I must uh, clear the counter. I'm not going to bother shifting it all the way to the left. There we go. So now I start subtracting. Until you hear the overflow bell that rings. And then you undo that last subtraction. Then I shift one step to the left and do this again. There we go, that's far enough. And uh, here we see the result, 3.14159. On this machine it is very easy to take apart. You can just slide out the carriage. Actually, this one it hits the uh, tooth that increments the counter, but if you just move the crank a little bit, you can slide out the carriage completely. I think it's just slightly misaligned and it's not supposed to do that. So you can completely remove the carriage.
I'll also remove this cover. On this machine, I think this cylinder has been replaced. I, I'm not sure it's original because this cover doesn't quite fit over it. These carry pins, they scratch into the underside of the cover and yeah, if you completely uh, screw in all these uh, screws, then uh, it'll just lock up. There's about a, a millimeter gap between the uh, cover and uh, yeah, the, the rest of the case. This machine is very simple. There's not even a mechanism for making sure that the crank doesn't change direction halfway through the turn. There's also no safety mechanism for blocking the input being changed halfway through the turn. All those safety mechanisms were added later. That was Odner's arithmometer. Thank you for watching.